All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Many of you are now getting your license. It's that time of season. New riders are starting to get their license, or it's just starting to heat up. And so maybe now you're actually starting to get back on the motorcycle after the snow season. So you need to be able to practice and know how to and learn how to re ride your motorcycle. So that's what this video today is going to be about. It's going to be going over some key features, some, some key basic practices, and what you should be able to do and how to ride your motorcycle. You should be able to do all these exercises and you'll be able to handle the road just flawlessly. So let's go ahead and get into it. So in order to do this, you're really only going to need a couple things to be able to do all this stuff. You're obviously going to need your bike and you're going to need your gear. So you're going to need like your helmet. I recommend some uh, motorcycle jeans and some good boots, some gloves, which I have on top of my bike right now. And I'm wearing my motorcycle jacket, but you don't necessarily have to. Everything here is going to be nice and slow, so it doesn't have to be a motorcycle jacket. Honestly, a hoodie or a long sleeve shirt is going to be plenty for this, as long as it's just inside the parking lot. And leading to that, you're also going to need a wide open, clean space. This is on top of a parking garage, nice and open, pretty clean road. And then to finish that off, the last thing you're going to need is some cones. I have these little ones I got at Dick's Sporting Goods. I think I spent 20 bucks for all of these, super cheap. And then a tape measure for your distances. So getting into the first exercise, we're going to be doing some throwbacks. Nice and easy to do. The easiest way you're gonna be able to do this is to actually find a parking lot where they have all these set out. A really easy way to do it is just to be able to measure from one line to the next and so I want to end up on this side at the end so that tells me I'm going to want so let's go ahead and do eight cones nice and simple we'd go ahead and start on this side on the left side we'd come up left right left right left right left right using these parking lot lines is what's going to be the easiest way for you to be able to do this if I then come over to the next parking lot line and I also measure out nine feet that and then I go ahead and come back over here that is going to be my turning radius let's go ahead and get ourselves lined up for this here we go so the key to look far ahead look past the next cone don't look at the cone you're even going to be at look way beyond i'm looking at the telephone poles back there and in my periphery i'm going to be seeing all of the cones and that's what's going to be allowing me to go back and forth so let's go ahead and start with this letting out the clutch slowly perfect see not too bad at all come back on over keeping my head up dip in the bike hard turn on the head you really have to be able to move your head quicker if you also notice while I'm doing all this I'm pushing the bike in each direction I really want it to go I'm letting the bike move deep down I'm also not letting the bike go too slow because if I do that's where all the problems are going to start to lie. There's also some clutch control in all of this. So push, push, head up, head up, push, 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 head, turn hard, and keep letting that throttle out. Ooh, there we go. Perfect. You should be able to do this pretty easily. This is going to be pretty much like an MSF course right here. I'm also not going too fast. I'm riding the rear brake just a little tiny bit. I'm using that friction zone. That's what all of this exercise is all about. And using nothing but the friction zone. 
balancing out the throttle and rear brake. I don't know if you can see my speedometer right now, but I'm also keeping it no, I'm keeping it between 8 and 12 miles an hour. 12 is pushing it just a little tiny bit for what I can get the speed on in here through. But then already turning my head. There we go. Perfect. If you let the bike get below 5 miles an hour, it's going to fall. So you want to keep the bike going higher than 5 miles an hour. All right, and so for this next exercise, you can see I have them spaced out and there's these slots. The trick here is not only going to be using the friction zone and the rear brake to help stabilize you and to use what you need to be able to get through that, but to also make sure you do your quick head turns that you're going to need to do while doing this. So let's go ahead and get started on it. This one is very well open, very well and easy. And this can get much harder. You can set this very, very, very close, make this difficult. But let's go ahead and start so you can see what I'm talking about. We're gonna be going ahead and I'm looking at the next cone. And looking at the next cone. You gotta, when you get to the next cone, you already gotta start looking at where you wanna go. If you aren't, you're gonna miss it. Looking at this cone, next. Looking at this cone, next. Looking at that cone. It's going too fast through there. There we go. And I'm through, nice and easy. It's all about balancing the friction zone, what you're using for your rear brake and your throttle control. And while we're doing this, you also need to make sure that you're really counter steering and everything that you're doing you're counterweighting so if the bike's going left you're on the right side of the bike you're pushing down on the right pushing down on the right leaning into the left pushing down on the left leaning into the right doing all these things you're really moving it's this isn't just sitting on the couch and relaxing you're really, really working for all this so push on the left lean to the right push on the right lean to the left all while keeping that friction zone and rear brake going. All these things moving together as one fluid unit. Push left. And don't forget, you got to keep your head moving in the opposite direction too. Nice and easy. Make sure you really dip in that bike, just like how we were in that last exercise too. Nice and easy. Using that rear brake to help stabilize me when I'm doing all those turns and keeping the friction zone so I'm still moving. You gotta make sure you're in the friction zone or else otherwise you're gonna be going too slow, you're gonna stall it, or you're gonna be going too fast and you can't control it. Well, that's it for this video. If you go, if you liked it, make sure you go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you felt like you learned something here, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can keep on learning and make sure you hit that bell notification so that you know when the next lesson comes on out. And to end it off, I'm also gonna tell you that I'm looking at trying to get a uh, literally a brand new person who just got their motorcycle license and try coaching them and helping them so you guys can see everything that I'm doing and you can actually hear from them and what they're learning and how it feels for them and what they're going to be experiencing. So stay tuned for that. See what's going to be happening and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.